Hi everyone, welcome back. If you are preparing for a data quality engineer interview, you are in the right place. Today, we'll go through five beginner friendly scenario based interview questions and answers to help you shine in your next interview. Let's dive in. Question one, how would you identify missing data in a data set using SQL? And here is my answer. I identify null values using the isNull function to locate rows where a column has no value. I use the query select star from table where column name is null. And some data sets may have empty strings instead of actual nulls. To identify those, I use a query select star from table where column name equal to empty strings. And to ensure a comprehensive approach, I combine both these checks select star from table where column name is null or column name is empty strings. If the data is in production, I profile it to identify columns that must not contain null or empty values. I then create SQL queries to detect missing data in these specific columns for future data sets. Question two, how do you identify duplicates in a data set? And the answer, first, I understand from the business requirement which fields uniquely identify a record. This could be a single column like customer ID or a combination of columns like first name, last name and date of birth. Then I use a group by clause in SQL to identify duplicate records. And the query is something like select column one, column two, count star from the table group by column one comma column two having count star greater than one. This query groups the data by the specified columns and counts the number of occurrences for each combination. If the occurrences count is greater than one, it indicates duplicate records. That's how I identify duplicates in a data set. Question three, how do you identify if your data is consistent? Consistency issues arise when related data fields doesn't align logically within a data set or between data sets. Within a single data set, let's say we have an order status column and a ship date column in the orders table. To check for consistency, I ensure that orders marked as shipped always have a corresponding ship date. So I use a query to verify the same where order status equal to shipped and ship date is null. This query identifies any orders marked as shipped, but missing a shipping date, which highlights a consistency issue. Inconsistent data can also occur between tables, such as when a product ID in the sales table doesn't match the product ID in the product table. So I use a left join of sales and product tables on the product ID. This query retrieves the product IDs from the sales table that do not have a matching product ID in the product table. In addition, I do the reverse join to check if there are any product IDs in the product table without corresponding records in the sales table. This way, I can effectively identify and address data inconsistencies to ensure data reliability. Question four, what are some common data validation techniques you would use when working with data sets? Some common techniques I use for data validation include range checks or outlier checks, ensuring that data values fall within a specific logical range. Say for example, age column, I ensure that the values are within a reasonable range from zero to 120. I validate it using SQL with conditions age is less than zero or greater than 120. Next uniqueness checks, Ensuring that values meant to be unique, like IDs or primary keys, do not have duplicates. I use SQL's group by and having clauses to identify duplicates. Next, data type validation. Ensuring the data types in a column match the expected format. Example, a column meant to contain dates, like order date, only contains valid date values. I use SQL to check if the values can be cast to the required type. Next, pattern matching for string columns, which verifies that values match a specific pattern or format 
such as email addresses or phone numbers. In SQL, I use the like operator or regular expressions to check that emails are in the correct format. Null or empty checks to make sure that critical fields do not contain null or empty values, especially if the fields is required for processing. I do this using where column name is null or empty strings. And referential integrity checks that make sure data in one table corresponds to valid data in related tables. If there's customer ID in orders table, I validate that each customer ID exists in the customer table using SQL joins. Next, consistency checks to ensure logical consistency between related columns. For example, if order status is shipped, then ship date should not be null. By applying these validation techniques, I ensure that the data is clean, consistent, and ready for analysis. Question five, describe a scenario where you encountered a data quality issue and how you resolved it. Guys, I'm sharing my real experience here. Once I noticed an unexpected and significant drop in traffic data for a specific store, and this is from a store traffic data set. And the store traffic data is sourced from an external vendor. So I first reached out to the vendor team who confirmed there was no issue on their end. To gain further insight, I compared the traffic data with the sales data for the same store that comes from a different source. I observed that the sales data was still being updated as expected while the traffic data was completely missing for that store. So this strongly indicated there is an issue with the traffic data source itself. I went back to the vendor with the proof that the sales data for the same store was still flowing correctly. After reviewing the information, they identified an issue with their devices that was preventing the accurate collection of traffic data. They promptly resolved the issue and resent the missing data, which we then loaded into our system. To prevent future occurrences, we implemented real-time monitoring on the traffic data, setting up alerts for any significant drops or anomalies. This allows us to quickly identify and address potential issues. That's a wrap. I hope these answers help you prepare for your next interview. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing for more tips on data quality. Good luck with your journey in data quality engineering. See you in the next one.